had to clear my throat there. <laughs> How y'all doing tonight? Um, didn't plan on doing a video, but I wanted to share with all of you. And this is for those of you who are either debating about locking your hair or if you have locks and you're looking for um, a way to maintain or some advice on locks. And that's pretty much what this video is going to be. And um, I apologize if it seems like it's going to be too long or whatever. And I apologize for that. But try to watch the entire video. And that's what I do when I watch YouTube videos. I try to watch to the end of the video especially if it's something uh, a product review or um, something that somebody has used that I'm thinking about using or I want to use I like to see what other people um, their results have been even though us as lock wearers we have different kind of locks um, even hair period we have different types of hair so I wanted to come and I guess give you all some tips and to kind of aid you and to show tell you what I do and some advice and things that I use. So the first one that I want to say, and this is kind of pertaining to lock wears already, if your hair is locked already or you already have locks, listen to your locks. That's number one. Listen to your locks. And the reason why I say that is because your locks are going to tell you what they need. Keep them moisturized. Keep them um, tied down every night. And that's something that I live by religiously. I tie them down every night. The only time I will not tie them down is, number one, if I'm somewhere um, where I don't have access to my scarf or whatever. And if I don't, what I'll do, um, take an old t-shirt. Flip it, you know how when you're taking your shirt off, flip it like that and, and just wear that to bed. Um, another one I'll do, um, I'll just tie them back. Or if I know that I am um, going to wash my hair the next day or that next morning, I won't tie them down. Or I'll just say, oh, well, I'm washing them tomorrow. Which I know that's not good because sometimes you get the lint. But lint is inevitable with locks. Lint is inevitable with locks. But uh, listen to your locks. Keep them moisturized. Keep them tied down. Um, use the products that work best for you, man. Don't sit up here and watch all these YouTube videos. Oh, she used that. I'm going to use it. Okay, true. Use it. But if it does not work for your hair, don't keep using it. Just because someone else had A results does not mean that you're going to have a results you may have B results you may have C results um, everybody's hair is different and another thing that I want to inform everybody is that remember that certain spots of your hair are going to be thinner than others uh, you may see um, a thickness more in the middle of your head than on the edges or you may see a thickness on your right side than your left side whatever my hair around the top part and, and around the back and, and on the sides is very thin. It's very thick thin though. And I know that sounds weird, but it's like a, a smoother texture to my hair. So when, I, when I'm retwisting my edges or I'm doing anything with my edges, I always try to be as gentle as possible. Now in the middle, in, the, like, in this area right here, thick is I don't know what. So I really, really don't worry too much about that. But uh, coloring, chemicals, anything that you put on your hair, just remember that natural hair absorbs uh, products a lot better than uh, chemically treated hair. Uh, making sure that you're inspecting your locks, that's something that I do as well. I always inspect my locks and that's how I found that some of my ends needed to be clipped and I'm not anti-clipping your ends I, I'll click clip some of them but I'll just sit and I'll just you know kind of go through each lock and kind of feel them and I have a lot of you know lumpy bumpies and where's that one at 
it's, it's, you're going to come up with your favorite ones that you have. But I have one, and it's like so weird shaped. I don't know what to do with it, but whatever. I'll show you the progress of the one that I combined, the three. Okay, so um, I'm at about, this is where it has the new growth has stopped. And then I have the one that I just added, and then the one for my twins. So I have three in one. But anyway, you can do a lot of stuff with locks. I, I just don't. You can tie them up. You can put them in all kind of, of things. And that's the advantage of having locks. But um, that's one thing I don't do. I try not to wear too many updos because it pull. It does pull on your edges. Like I'll tie it up very lightly. And like you can tell, you see no pulling. So, like I said, those are just some things that, that I do. Some benefits. Um that have helped me maintain my locks for three years a little over three years now like i said my I, I don't focus too much on my length it's more of my health than anything and right now it feels really good so i just wanted to share that with you I have some things on my mind i'm gonna sit and keep watching some more videos i've been watching a lot of videos today so stay tuned and i'll see you all next time peace